<clears throat> okay, welcome everybody. Welcome to Poster Town TCDL. We um, are really excited you're here today. My name's Leah DeForest, and I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the communications manager and OER support lead with Texas Digital Library. We have um, a handful of folks who I am really excited to see. I've never even met some of you, and some of you I have met, but I can't wait to see again in person at TCDL. So today, um, a few of us on the committee, Diane Lopez, the chair of our uh, conference planning committee and chair of our poster committee and also Colleen Lyon, who is part of our full committee, um, are going to help talk you through some of the different elements of poster sessions at TCDL. We have probably about a dozen or so slides to get through, and then we'll have plenty of time for Q&A after we quit recording. Okay, I think Next slide. Thanks. Oh, can we have the high heart? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so TCDL 2023, this is the first in-person conference that we've had since 2019. And we're all really excited, maybe a little nervous, maybe both. And um, I want to um, just stress to all of you that there's a, a lot going on with the poster sessions at our conference. We have sessions that are um, standing up in front of the audience in the auditorium and presenting a pitch about your poster. We're going to talk about that. We have the actual poster itself, which is, you know, we're probably all in the phase where we're working on our presentation. So we'll have those posters and they'll be printed out all big and beautiful and those will be on display physically at the um, uh, reception site. So there's that component of the posters. And then we also have a way that folks can engage with you and your poster at the conference through the reception, which is when people will walk around and look at posters and talk to you. And we're gonna incentivize that through something we call the poster scavenger hunt. So there's, our poster session called the Poco Loco, and Diane's gonna talk a little bit about that. There's the poster reception and scavenger hunt, and Colleen's gonna talk about those two things. And then next up, I'm gonna um, uh, go into just kind of the, the logistics of getting started and the different dimensions of the poster. Um, I also, the hi, how are you guys? So um, for those of you who've been in Austin or been through Austin, you may have seen this um, wonderful mural uh, painted by Daniel Johnston, the musician who was from Austin back in the day. And um, we picked this theme because we really, we were, you know, how do you pick a theme after four years not being in the in-person conference space? How do you pick a theme after this pandemic? What do we do? And so we thought this theme really helped us sort of capture this sort of maybe awkward return to in-person and, and how we wanna see how people are, not only what have you been up to work-wise, but how are you personally? And so I want to stress this theme and stress that one of our goals for this conference is for people to find ways to connect on a personal level and share stories. We want, um, we wanna make sure that this is conversational and we at TDL, we know this, is, this conference has uh, some really amazing presentations and, and it's gaining prestige, which is fantastic. At the same time, we want it to stay informal and casual and most importantly, fun. And so that people feel like they can be at home. And so I just wanna remind you all that our poster sessions are meant to be fun. And so I encourage you to bring your authentic selves, your full selves, and we can talk through some ideas that we have and some you might have for your posters and the poster presentations. Um, next slide. We have a poll. And so, based on some of the folks I know who are here today, there are some people I haven't met here. I'd love to know if you've ever presented a poster to before, and this doesn't have to be at TCDL. This could be anywhere or anytime. We'll leave this open for a few minutes. Okay. 
Okay, it looks like everybody's participated. I'm gonna end the poll. And <laughs> I am shocked, I say, shocked. Can y'all see this? 50-50. So half of us have presented a poster before, half of us have not. And that is wild. I love it. This is great. So what we, we do have something for everyone. And in fact, I wanna put a note out here to both the no's I haven't and yes, as I have. So for the no's, please don't worry about it. You are in good hands and we are here to make you feel comfortable and ready. For the yeses, my hope is that we might be able to tap some of your experience and help some of those no's feel comfortable and ready. Um, so we have time for everyone to share out um, experiences and also lots of time to ask any questions. Thanks for taking that poll, this is good. Okay, next up, we're gonna get into the logistics. Oh, sorry, so we have the, the day you need to keep in mind. Thanks, Diane, I forgot about, this is like really big overview, important thing. The day you need to remember more than anything, the biggest day for posters is the first day of the conference, May 16th. That is when you will arrive at the conference. Um, we, we need your posters, your physical posters dropped off so we can set them up during lunch. We um, will then have our opening plenary and keynote session at 1.30, that'll end at three and we'll really quickly bring everybody who's gonna be presenting posters back into the auditorium. The audience will be there and that's when the Poco Loco poster session will start. Again, Diane's gonna talk about that next. After that session is done, we'll do um, that uh, session in the, or I'm sorry, we'll do the reception and that poster session where people will walk around in person, talk to you while they're sipping their Chardonnay or club soda, eating their appetizers. That starts right after the Poco Loco, Poco Loco session. Okay, thanks, Diane. So here are some basics. Um, we hope that our, the posters will be 36 inches by 48 inches in size, and you can orient that poster or landscape. Want to keep in mind for those of you who might be presenting um, who are students. I know that when I was uh, presenting my capstone poster, I went to the School of Information at UT Austin. It was, I just reused the one that I presented at the capstone poster um, event. And so that sizing is different. If your sizing is close, um, or if you think, you know, is this too big or too small, you can let us know, or we can help you sort that out. But I just wanna point out for students that you can get more mileage out of your poster and just bring it with and, and use it again, even if it's a little bit smaller, like, like mine was. Those posters, um, I'm guessing will be rolled up and either rubber banded or in a tube. We want those to be labeled with your name and some way to get in touch with you, a cell number if we need to text you or an email address. Um, label it and leave it at the registration desk. That'll be a pretty clearly uh, designated area. I don't think you'll miss it, but we'll, if you have questions, you should be able to track us down at the registration desk. And, um, but that's where we want you to leave your posters. Um, that's where our volunteers will set up easels and we'll set up your posters so it's ready and they're ready in time for the reception. We're going to have easels. We're going to have a big piece of foam board to um, fix your posters to. We, we clip them on with big uh, those big black clips. Um, and we sometimes use pins depending on if it's a full bleed poster or, you know, we don't, we try not to obscure any information on your poster when we do the display. Um, if you have a special thing, like you're like, nope, I want this to be put on the, you could bring it put on the foam board already. That's fine. You can have, bring any additional supplies if you feel like you want your poster set up a certain way and you're always invited to come set up your poster yourself if you'd prefer. The last thing I think for this, oh, sorry, one, one quick thing um, I want to mention before you print, we, um, so that's all about the setup. If you want to get your poster and before you leave the conference, we're going to be tearing down on Wednesday afternoon. So, but we're going to be leaving the conference at the end of the day on Thursday. So I just want to point out like, before you go, if you want your poster, grab it. If you don't, we will recycle it. That's all you need to know. 
So if you decide this might be uh, depending on your mode of travel, um, there is a FedEx Kinkos that's located a couple of miles from the Commons Learning, the Commons Conference Center. And it used to be called the Commons Learning Center. Sorry about that. Um, but it's just down the road. And so you can put in the order, have a proof, pay, and pick it up there on your way in if you need to. Um, okay. Logistics. I think that's it. So Diane, I'm gonna hand things off to you. Okay, yeah, all right. Um, so, I, so hi everybody, my name is Diane Lopez. I am a librarian at the University of Texas. And of course, like uh, Leo was mentioning earlier, I'm the vice chair for this year's conference and the, um, then the subcommittee chair for the posters. Um, so this year, um, we're doing things a little differently. Uh, before it used to always be called uh, Minute Madness, uh, where everybody had like a minute, um, but we decided to change it up um, to kind of like how we say, we're all coming back to a in-person conference and maybe not all of us are ready to speak in a minute. Um, so we wanna give everybody a bit more, some more wiggle room, more space to convey your poster and what you want, uh, like the takeaways that you want your the audience to take, right? Um, so we've called this now session is Poco Loco, um, and yeah, okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, okay, so it's going to be, um, of course, like how um, earlier we mentioned, it's going to be from 315 to 415, the big text. Um, the new things are going to be that we're going to offer you guys um, up to three minutes. So instead of a minute, you have up to three minutes to go ahead and, you know, um, Tell us about your poster. Um, you also have the opportunity to have three slides. Um, and yeah, like this gives you the, uh, gives a preview of your poster. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and also let me share, and I'll be sharing this also um, in an email or right now and also in the, in the chat, I'll, I'll add the link. So what we'll have for um, the Poco Loco session is we're gonna have a slide deck that's already created and where um, all you have to do is then go and find your name in the slide deck and then you'll have three blank slides um, to go ahead and add your poster or any information that you want. So let me do that really quickly. Um, let's see. Okay. Let me just share the screen one more time. Okay. And so, yeah, all right. So this is the slide deck that we created. Um, let me go ahead and share that link with you guys in the chat. And then, like I said, we'll probably, I'll send it again in an email. So then you don't have to worry about it. Um, but yeah, so, Here's a slide deck. And so what's what we have created is that um, we have a course, Poco Loco, ECDL, Hola, Como Estas Tu? Um, and what you could do from here is you'll find your name. So it'll be something that will look like this with your name on here. Uh, we have, and then please, if there is anything that needs to be corrected, feel free to edit, um, change anything that you need to. But like, the slide decks are there just to kind of help with the organization, right? And then you could add your poster. So this is just a sample poster that I did for my capstone in 2019 at UW, um, where if you wanted to do something like this, where it's not recreating it, um, and you already have your poster design done, you could save it as an image. And then from there, go to where it's like background, and you could choose an image, find your, your poster image and then add it that way. So then it's just already fixed and you don't have to worry about a, you know uh, modifying or adapting it to fit. You just add your image. And of course there'll be three blank slides um, or yeah, you'll have three blank slides. So one will be the poster, one will be whatever information you want to go ahead and add. 
Um, and you have three of those to do that. Um, so yeah, so like here's um, one example. Um, if there's anything that needs to be changed, please go in there and change it. Or if you want me to change it, um, just you know, shoot me an email and I'll update that for you guys. Um, so back to the post orientation one. Um, but yeah, that's our the Poco Loco. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pass it to Colleen so she could talk to you. Or is there anything that needs to be added, um, Leah? Um, one thing, and this is something we'll talk more about in Q and A and get everybody's temperature. We want people to participate in Poco Loco. It's it's meant to be fun and casual. Um, however, we understand that this is a heavy lift, and like what Diane said, it's a lot to be back in person and. Some folks signed up for posters so that they didn't have to go and give a presentation and that's totally legit. And so if you feel like you don't want to do Poco Loco, we're not gonna make you. It's really up to you, but we'd sure would love it if you would um, give us your three minute spiel and, and have fun with it. We can talk more during Q&A though. All right. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Colleen Lyon. I'm the head of scholarly communications at UT Austin. And I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what to expect directly after the Poco Loco session. Uh, next one. So the poster session will start at 4.15 um, in kind of the, the common lobby area of um, the conference location. Um, and it will go until 6.30. We do hope that you can stay for at least 45 minutes to an hour to talk to people about your poster. Um, so, you know, we hope that you will grab a drink or grab a snack um, or maybe both and then just enjoy talking about the work that you've done. Um, you know, post, I, for those of you who have presented a poster before, um, you know, sometimes they can be a slightly awkward experience, but I think the way that TCDL um, organizes the poster session being in conjunction with the reception makes it much more of a conversational setting where we all just get to talk to each other about the like wonderful work that's happening. And we hope that it is like that for you. Um, during the poster session, we will have the opportunity for everybody to um, engage with your posters through a scavenger hunt. Um, so if you want to go to the next slide, or actually probably next slide and then the slide after. <laughs> Wait, do you want me to go back to yeah. this? No, one, one more. Okay. Sorry. Okay. That one. Okay. <laughs> yes. So the scavenger hunt is kind of our way to try to incentivize people to um, interact with you, talk to you, find out about your projects. And so one of the things that's going to happen is you will get um, an email with a link to a Google form where we're gonna ask you, you know, what's your name? What's the title of your poster? Come up with one question or a fact about your poster that we can put on the scavenger hunt. So as an example here, how many theses and dissertations were digitized by UNT libraries? And then the answer is 9 million, which I, I put that jokingly because it feels like UNT literally does all the things. Um, and so in my mind, they probably have digitized 9 million things, um, but also, you know, realizing that that's, even for UNT, not possible. Um, so that's what that's going to look like. You think of your poster, it should be a fact. It can be, um, you know, fill in the blank. It can be multiple choice. Um, but the idea is that people will have the opportunity to grab that sheet of paper and do the scavenger hunt and go around and talk to all the people about their posters, get answers to all the scavenger hunt questions, and then turn that in. And we'll do a drawing and all the people who got everything right on the scavenger hunt will have the opportunity to win prizes. As a part of that scavenger hunt um, document, there's also going to be an option for people to vote on best poster. Um, and so that will be uh, something that one of you could win um, as the prize for having the best poster at the conference. Um, so Reception is really informal, um, you know, opportunity to just have some drinks and have some food, chat about your projects. And in the process, there's going to be some people who are doing the scavenger hunt um, and, you know, talking to you about your project and trying to figure out what the answer is to the question um, on the scavenger hunt that relates to your poster. 
So uh, Leah, is there anything else that we want to mention about reception and scavenger hunt? We have links for you to sign up. I think Colleen mentioned that and we'll be sure to share them out here. Um, I also, uh, you know, actually, while we're here and before we quit recording and move into Q&A, Diane, would you mind showing the, and I can give you a link, would you mind showing the speak, uh, poster presenter FAQs page? Let me drop a link in chat. Because I want to show folks, um, we put in some example photos of these sessions in 2019. So that was the last year we were in person at TCDL. And yeah, could you scroll down a little bit? And so, yeah, thanks, and blow it up. Um, so right there, you can see we have, um, this is what the poster Poco Loco session kind of looks like. This is a zoomed in image. The auditorium is um, where we'll also have our opening plenary and keynote speaker. So it seats about 300. Um, we won't have 300 people there, please don't worry. <laughs> uh, I mean, that'd be awesome, but let's be honest, we won't. And um, poster presenters line up and then take turns um, speaking at the uh, podium and we have a microphone and then you can't see what's happening behind them, unfortunately, but there's a big screen where you're um, Poco Loco slides will be displayed. Um, so I just wanted to give you a sense of what your space would look like, um, taking turns pitching. And then if you scroll down just a little bit more, these are, yeah, thank you. So these are the uh, photos of the poster session at the reception. Um, so, I mean, you know, librarian business casual is the, is the mode of dress for everyone at this conference. Please be comfortable. Um, we don't expect suits and ties or anything. Um, and, uh, but this is a really good example of the crowd mingling and walking around staring at posters and then chatting it up with folks. Um, and the, this is the, the, what you're looking at, what you see is what you get here, because what you're looking at is the space where the posters will be set up and where the poster session will take place in uh, for Poco Loco. And um, uh, on that note, um, too, I just want to mention that we have a, a couple of things around um, photos and recording for um, in sessions, but also just in general. So some folks at the conference are going to um, not care if they're in pictures and not care if they're in photos. And that's great. We will have a photographer uh, taking photos that day and taking photos of different sessions. One of the things though is we know for sure that there are lots and lots of folks who don't want to be photographed. And the way we're going to manage that is two prongs. So for our photographer who's going to walk around and take candid photos, we want to make sure that people wearing a red lanyard, we have color codes, a red lanyard means no photos. And so that photographer will know like, um, he is, our photographer is a, a guy named Parker. Parker will walk around and if he sees a group of people all wearing red lanyards, he's not gonna take your picture or he's gonna try to avoid even getting you in the frame. I think that goes two ways though, because if you're part of a group photo and you're wearing the red lanyard, like just don't be in the photo, like step out of the photo if you know it's a posed photo. Um, so that's just kind of like a 10D level um, ways we're gonna protect people from photos and recording. Our default for almost all of the sessions, and I do want to say that the poster session is an exception, but almost all the sessions is no photos, no recording, unless the speakers say, yeah, you can record me, you can photograph me, but we're going to kind of default to no. The poster session is different because it's such a big session. We have, you know, the most speakers we have in sessions outside of the poster session is, I think, four. So with potentially 12, we wanna, we wanna take photos. Now, that being said, if you do not want to be photographed, you will have on the red lanyard and we will honor that. 
and but nothing will be recorded. We're not doing any live streaming and we're not, we have no videographer and um, we have a, um, what's that called? Housekeeping. We do a housekeeping slide at the beginning of the conference and we remind people to not record or take photos without consent. Just wanted to mention that um, as a, a question came in through DM to me and I think that was worth everybody hearing. So Diane, what do you think? Should I stop recording and we just start asking some questions? Okay, I'm gonna stop.